Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about our internet and what router we have and specifically how we get service on our little router. Now we've done a video on our internet options here and we've had a Spitz router for I think around about four years now. For the first few years we had a Spitz X750 which is a smaller version of this uh, and it has uh, 3G and 4G LTE. And that router was fantastic, never had an issue with it. When the 5G version came out we went ahead and picked that up. This is the Spitz X3000. The 5G when you're in range is so good. Somewhere around 600 megabits down, sometimes higher, uh, but it is really, really good. And you can see with the nice large antenna here, we get some pretty good range. You can also, a lot of folks will ask like, well, how do you adapt an external antenna? Uh, and you'll see 5G, 4G, 3G antennas out there. Um, you simply unscrew these guys and it's a, it's a pretty standard coax connection there. With these guys, they do have USB 2.0. Uh, a LAN port, so you have one LAN port here as well as you can plug in uh, internet connection. It's a 2.5G connection here. It is a 12 volt DC connection, so you can, uh, I forget what the port is called, but you can look that up. So you can run this guy off a of USB if you so choose, or you can just hardwire into a battery or something like that, especially if you're mobile. And on the side, this guy does have two SIM cards and a micro SD card. Now, these are nano SIMs, so they're the smallest kind of SIM that you can get, the same thing that you pop into a phone. Now, the number one thing that we get comments on is, well, how in the heck do you get it for 10 bucks a month? What plan do I need to be on? And, um, you know, how do I get it? And blah, 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 blah. Here's the trick. You do have to add a line. Now we're on a specific plan that we've been grandfathered in for a very long time. So every line that we add is only 10 bucks a month. That's a pretty dang good deal. And yes, that does mean that you have to have a cell phone. So no all in the entire plan is not $10 a month, but it's 10 bucks a month for internet right now. You could also say, well, no, it's 25 bucks for me to add a line. Most people have a cell phone anyways, that's not a big deal. 25 bucks for essentially unlimited internet, that's awesome. The plan that we're on with T-Mobile does give us 50 gigabytes of unlimited high speed, and then you're going to be deprioritized <laughs> after that point, right? But the nice thing is that we actually really don't notice the difference at all. I would say maybe like a handful of times you might notice a little tiny bit of slowdown, but a lot of times we're, because we live mobile um, that's because we're next to a freeway where there's a lot of traffic once that traffic passes usually within the hour we're back up to full speeds and it's never unusable internet it's always you know you're you're dropping down to maybe half your speeds but um, you know we're never really in a 5g area we're never getting really below 100 megabits per second which is really really good the upload speeds of course are a little bit slower um, but generally i would say over 40 megabits per second and it's very consistent now a lot of folks will ask will it work with at and i know for a fact this guy will work with at and and we have a verizon sim card in there uh, that does work just as well because you can pop two sims in there if there's a failure on one sim card say t-mobile has an outage or something like that it's not able to connect to the internet it can switch over it does work with at and and it does work with t-mobile now you might ask what about metro pcs and as far as i know i've not tested it personally but it should work pretty well and those are cheaper plans technically speaking it should work with most carriers the way to look that up is that on the website it'll actually say which bands it has in this device for LTE, which bands it has for 5G. And so if your operator transmitting on those frequencies, this should be able to, to pick it up. The other thing is try it out, try it out. And uh, if it doesn't work, return it. This guy's a little bit more expensive. So the Spitz X750 that has LTE only comes in about 100, 120 bucks, somewhere in there, depending on the sale that you get. This guy was a bit more and there's a Pulley, P-U-L-I version instead of a Spitz, um, that also has a battery, which is really nice for those of us on the road. Uh, that wasn't out when we purchased this and I I don't have any regrets, but I probably would have picked that one over uh, over this guy. So that's definitely an option. And if, you're, uh, if your power goes out or you know, you're sending your motor home in for repair, they might disconnect it, it might not have power. That'll at least keep your, your things like your cameras and all of that. Um, you know, connected for longer. Now with T-Mobile, folks will ask, what plan do I need specifically, right? Um, with these, these operators. Now this guy, I could take the regular phone SIM card out of this, pop it right into this. This guy is acting as though it's a phone. Now a lot of folks will say, well, what about uh, a data only plan? Well, when you look at those data only plans, they may very well work, especially if you have unlimited data, like that's a pretty good deal. But a lot of times you can get a regular phone at a line 
uh, cheaper, like a second line, third line, fourth line, you get those cheaper than you can the data only lines or have more data with it. Um, the thing is with the data only lines, they probably want to be on a tablet. Basically when you pop the SIM card into your iPad or whatever, um, it's going to register with the network and say, oh, hey, I'm an iPad. There is a way by changing the IMEI in here, you can, you can select whatever IMEI, so you can pull a, an IMEI from a, a tablet or look up an IMEI uh, example uh, for tablets. You can basically spoof that and then it goes, oh, okay, you're a tablet. No worries, let's give you full data. So the T-Mobile network, whichever carrier network, it believes that this is a tablet line. Otherwise, if you pop a regular phone SIM card, any phone SIM card, you can take your phone SIM card out of your, your phone, pop into the side of this thing, and it will work. So it just looks like any other phone um, or a generic device. The other thing you might need to change the TTL, the time to live setting is very, very easy. Um, you might need to go into the settings on this guy and just change it to 64 for T-Mobile, maybe 65 for Verizon or 67. There's some settings online uh, for those uh, who need it. If you're trying with like Metro PCS or something like that. And the setup on this guy is unbelievably quick, but a lot of people will ask, well, why wouldn't I just use a phone hotspot? Why would I use this? And that's a valid question. Um, the reason that we got this instead of like a phone hotspot is that the apps for the phones, in my experience, uh, there are, let's see, FoxFi and PDA Nets, uh, they're not consistent. So they're not very consistent. A lot of them, they want you to buy their, their software and um, the, the phone might have some issue and it's, it's not, they don't stay up. You might say, well, I could just share my hotspot data from here and we have 14 gigabytes of hotspot data that we can share out of the, the phone. But after that 14 gigabytes, that's it. Like that's what you've got. Whereas this guy, we use a couple hundred gigabytes every month. We don't have any warnings. We don't have any slowdowns. It's, we get the normal like, hey, past 50 gigabytes, like you might be deprioritized and never have any issues. One advantage obviously then is that if you have unlimited data, this guy has unlimited data and I can connect my Mac. I can connect my phone. I can connect all of our security cameras. I can connect the TV. You, if we had a PlayStation, you can connect that to this, right? Um, anything that connects to the internet, we have multiple computers, I should say. We could connect a tablet and an RV, for example, and then remote in and control everything like heating, cooling, whatever, open the fans, um, all remotely. Most important for us is that security camera feature. So we have Wi-Fi cameras and they basically connect to this guy and then out. And so we can check on our rig anytime, anywhere we are, uh, which is a really nice feature. So this enables us to do that. Whereas with the phone, again, they're a little finicky. Your mileage may vary. And if that's, you know, within your budget, obviously try to use a phone. Like it might be a first, uh, a first deal, but much like any other home internet, this is just home internet. Now, a lot of folks ask, can I change the network name? Can I change the network password? And the answer is yes, of course you can. This is a regular router that you would use for the internet. So connect all your devices to this. And then didn't usually in homes like this guy connects to a modem that connects to the Comcast or whatever, but instead it's all built in just like a cell phone. You know, this guy's a router and it has a cellular modem inside of it. Folks will ask, can I use this in a regular house? Of course you can. You can use this in a hotel. Um, you can use it in a regular house. You can use an RV, um, a bus, a van or whatever. But I think most people just get caught up on the fact that, oh, it's not really $10. Well, it can be, it absolutely can be. Um, and for us, we have decided to, we have a really big plan on our family. I pay 10 bucks for this, 10 bucks for my phone, 10 bucks for, uh, for Emma's line, for example, and basically just pool it all instead of everybody having to pay more. It just wouldn't make much sense to do that, right? There are some alternatives, but in my experience, this guy, especially running open WRT with ad blocks and things like, I think it's the best of value overall. Some of those routers are very, very, very expensive. Um, and they can more than double in price uh, for 5G. And again, in terms of downtime, it's so rare for us to have any downtime on this guy. Um, every now and then we'll, we'll see an update. So they are still updating them, which is really nice. So you're getting software support. Um, there's a lot of little plugins, like I mentioned, ad block. There's VPN profiles that you can install on here. Uh, with OpenVPN and uh, WireGuard and things like that, which is kind of nice. Uh, Tor VPN, you can also do that in here, which is kind of an interesting. There's a lot of really cool features about this. So I know it can be kind of confusing for folks to kind of picture, especially if you're used to home internet, you know, regular house internet, right? Um, that like, this is everything when typically you're looking at like an Asus router that's a little bit bigger, you know? Um, and then you're also looking at a Comcast modem or you might have a bigger Comcast, big ugly box that 
plugs in. It's hard to picture that this guy gets internet wirelessly, but again, just think of this guy with better reception. Folks will also ask, will this get better reception than you know their phone or will it get better reception than the Netgear products and things like that? And in my opinion, I have not done a uh, you know side-by-side -side comparison. I will say this guy gets better service than my phone. And my phone gets pretty dang good service, right? This guy gets better service on my phone, and there are little, again, little adapters. Um, there are wireless antennas that you can get. Doing a side-by-side -side comparison with this guy and some of those antennas, I didn't notice a difference. This guy's really, really good. I do think that if you put this guy, say, in the basement, one corner of the basement, and you try to go into the other corner of the attic in a 4,500-square-foot house, you might have... Um, you know, a bit of difficulty reaching this guy, but we can stand outside. Um, we can still, you know, we'll work outside, work under the awning. Um, <laughs> you know, we're still getting service. So, um, no, I, I would say I don't have any scientific tests to show range and, you know, all that. And there are a lot of uh, variables, especially if you live in a, an Airstream, a tin can, something like that. Um, but that is not a concern that we have. I will say that, uh, you know, Currently, we're not affiliated with the company at all. It's just a product that we use and enjoy. Uh, and frankly, having the ability to work from anywhere, and we've used it across the country. Um, if you've been on our channel, you've seen we get pretty good, uh, pretty good internet everywhere. We upload videos just about every day. Yeah, it, it'd be next to impossible without something, one, that was affordable, and two, that was uh, consistent and reliable. So um, I will leave... Um, an Amazon link to the to this guy, the pulley, which has the battery, and then the X750. And again, we're not affiliated, but if you happen to use the links that we have through Amazon, it just helps support the channel a little bit, and it doesn't cost anything extra. So, anywho, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.